Hey everyone, it's Joe Nazaeus here from The Automator, and today we're talking about Bard from Google. This is yeah. Google's, you know, they've been working on AI for a long time, so don't get me wrong. Like, they're they're behind the game and getting in front of the public, but they've been working this for a long time. Bard, from everything I've read and watched, it's it's a bit behind uh, ChatGPT, especially ChatGPT4. Let's go ahead and walk through. I have access. Let's show some of the, the FAQs, which was interesting. The very first one, right here, can Bard help with coding? And it's like, no, not really. Not, not, <laughs> not at the yet. moment. We <laughs> exactly. tried a couple of things. We'll still do some demos. You see that? One yeah. thing that is interesting that was uh, you can actually, and we'll demonstrate it, you can give feedback and give it a thumbs up and thumbs down. But they say it will give you, how can we make Bard better? So it, it is going to take the feedback and improve Bard. So ChatGPT seems to have this, but they don't make it very clear that they're actually listening to what you do. Which is, of course, yeah, that, that's interesting. So basically, on ChatGPT, you can hit thumbs up or thumbs down or whatever, but they don't have any official uh, part of the FAQ saying this will improve it. Like, is it learning from it right away, or are they just gathering it and later on they're going to go ahead and manually make those improvements? I don't know. In here, what I understand by this is that while you're rating the responses, it would actually learn faster, which if it is, even though it is a little bit behind chat GPT, I would assume that it would catch up very quickly. If well, they do. I, especially because like you said, if, if you're unsure, anyone's listening, that's why people don't complain. If no one's listening, you know what I mean? So why would I spend my time to help try to fix this? If you're not using it, the, Google's right. telling you we're going to use it. So I think it's a smart move. I think just the fact that it says so, so clearly here makes a difference as to how I feel about hitting that, that button. So yeah, uh, if, if OpenAI is doing the same as Google, or if Google right. is doing the same, this message here makes me feel that auto, that, that Google is going to improve faster than OpenAI for whatever reason. It says, like, who can use BART? Well, I can't. <laughs> it is yeah, not available. It's not available. US. Yeah. You can join the wait list if you want. It only supports U.S. English at the moment. Yeah. Now, here's one I didn't tell you, Isaiah, that made me laugh, was mm -hmm. does... This one does, does Bard, get, oh, actually, wait, was it this one? Yeah, I, I, I was, well, that one, I was wondering about that one. Yeah. If it can explain how it works itself. Well, like, it, uh, one of them, it was saying, um, Bard can hallucinate. That made me laugh. Like, yeah, what? that's what they explained. That, like, LLM it, experiences yeah. can hallucinate and present inaccurate information as fact. What does that even mean? What does that mean, hallucinate? Right. In this context, very interesting. It's a very yeah. human term, right? It is like, so basically. It's interesting that they used it, but uh, all right. Let's go ahead and get into to Bard and and demo yeah. a little bit about it. So it's similar in ChatGPT. You still have a prompt. Oh, oh, I didn't notice this. Let's see. Now I don't know if it's oh, going to be no this. Way. You have to love it. Tell me about the benefits of using Auto Hotkey. Oh man, that's insane. Yeah, that is convenient, which is what okay. I was just using the Windows H. Right, um, you were doing that for OpenAI. Yeah. Oh, wow, that's, so that's perfect. Open source, source use for beginners, library print tests, remap keys, powerful tool. You can create scripts, browser. Yeah, so it's doing a decent job. And if you notice also, it doesn't piecemeal your text back to you. It just kind of dumps thank it. You, it thank God. Response. That's, that's yeah, one exactly. of the best things, right? I, like it. Exactly. Thank God they don't do that. The one thing that I do, uh, let me see. I don't. I don't see any copy buttons because on ChatGPT, I I had a button that yeah. I could just copy. Yeah, you, you got this more. Oh come on! Copy. <laughs> they hide it in behind yeah. a menu. All report, right. report legal. Shouldn't that be illegal? Report <laughs> legal issue. Well, no. The, I, what I would say, like um, having the copy button inside a menu is a legal issue. Come on. <laughs> <laughs> that's legally no, but, you know i think i think that you could report anything uh the legality of something but i know it just seems i, I understand i understand your point like, legal you know it's 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 you report illegal things no but, well i think the word issue is the one that makes it negative yeah. so you want to report an issue yeah um, okay so now you have the feedback buttons what about the the arrow is that like retry again or what is it like right, make I like the buttons down here. The the Google it the retry is that a retry button or? Uh -huh. Well, you know what's interesting is up here 
view other graphs. So uh -huh, okay. what is interesting is you can have different results, right? Which is also impressive because it gives you that that quickly. But that's a good question is, is, is if I do this, does it... Uh, it would ju generate it just new give me answers. one of those. I think no, it does a whole you, new draft. Right, okay. Now, I understand what they are doing here on the drafts. When I, when I was creating the API, what I noticed is that when you query the API, you can tell it how many answers to generate. Sure. And you can pick one out of those, but which is what ChatGPT is doing. But in this uh, case, it looks like it returns three. It gives you three previews at the top, right. but it gives you one at the, uh, um, opened. Name the answer, yeah. Mm -hmm. But I just wanted to clarify, when you're talking about the API, it's not the BARD API, it's the text. No, no, sorry. I was talking about the OpenAI API. API. I don't want people to get the wrong impression that we're... No, I understand, yes. API. So we haven't, we haven't really played with this one yet. <laughs> Oh man, you want to start a flame war now? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> you want to revive the flames, right? I said, should I put in a better answer auto hotkey? <laughs> I remember this uh, this uh, experience. Oh wow! I, I agree with that answer. Right. I definitely agree with this part of it. It's more, especially V one. At least, yeah. So uh, that's V auto hotkeys. Available for 3264. I don't know if auto it is for both either. I believe it is, but I mm. could be wrong. So, so I, I feel that the question, the, the answer here is leaning more toward auto hotkey, isn't it? <laughs> oh, except for the. It uh -huh. depends on who you are, right? Like, and, and I think it's really good because it, if you're a programmer um, mm -hmm. up until V2 was available, this was, hey, you know, you can do more advanced stuff in auto, or at least it's better to do, you know, the code is easier, right? Um, but the community is larger and auto hotkey definitely a lot more, you know. I agree. I think I think that's how it is right now. It was not like that before, but I think it is. Yeah, this one, I would argue, I don't believe that, that either one of them is more powerful. I'd say they're If equal. both connect to the Windows API, I think they're equal on that, yeah. And they can do com objects, and they can do DLL yeah. calls, and they can do whatever, right? So yeah. less flexible. What about no, I, being I less know. flexible, I don't know what they're referring there about flexibility in, in which sense. So I, I couldn't comment right. on that again. Well, let's. Uh, here's an interesting one. What is the best editor for? Okay, site for our hotkey has to come up in there because be because guess. of the name. I think because of the name and because is the hey, there it is a site. First Studio, the, second VS Code, third. That's wow, probably the VS order Code. we would have written it, right? Exactly, one hundred percent. Now no. here's the thing. The reason why I say site first is because it is the official editor for our hotkey. If you go to autohotkey.com slash um, they, they have a page just for the editor, so they well, recommend site. But yeah, I think they have a whole Studio is better. Thread on all the editors, and anyway, yeah, it's, yeah. it's uh, we. I think we agree. This is a, this is a solid answer. Right? Okay. Quick answer. question. Quick question. Is this thing connected to the internet as ChatGPT four or? Well, not? Let's see. Um, how can we? How can we test won that? The last Super Bowl. The problem okay. is I don't know. So, um, <laughs> so this is February twenty twenty. So, oh, that's on this year. Yeah. Oh wow, that that's a Google search basically. So is, was, is, yeah. is it connected? Right. 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 Let's actually. Know, I, I remember. I, I remember. This. Uh huh. Does it load a new page? It looks like it's going to come back in this page. Did something happen? If it did anything, okay. So I, didn't, I don't think it did anything. <laughs> Oh, oh uh, below, below, yeah. Uh, what? Oh, I see. So it's oh, it doesn't do it. It, it shows you related searches, related topics, and when you click on it, then it goes the, there. Gotcha. Aha, uh -huh. that's well, an additional click. Oh, so you can have that on or off. Okay, so that's what it. It's kind of like a tab. The problem is that as they made it as a button, you would think there is a kind of like a reaction to it, but it right. works more as a tab. So That's maybe maybe the no. button there shouldn't be used as a button. It should be kind no. of like a little. Yeah, I understand a checkbox or something. Yeah, it's whether yeah. Um, That's that's part of uh, user interface design that it just makes it a little bit confusing as we just got confused. Like click, nothing happened. Well, it did. It opened something. <laughs> <Right>. <laughs> Let's oh, right. Okay. Yeah. Because it's connected to the internet. It should do it, right? 
Oh God. You would Why think. Would you do? But it also it did say oh, no, that's, not. that's not V2. Right, that's not but, V2. But it created a GUI in on all. <laughs> although GUI include GUI constants. Yeah. Okay. Oh wow. What now the here's the thing. Good question. Here's the thing. In AutoHotKey, so so how much code, V2 code, is out there on the internet? Sure. Because probably it might learn more about AutoHotKey V2 as more code is available on the internet. Yeah, I would assume. I think any AI system. How about be- Google it? How about clicking on Google it? Would, would it, if you go, yeah, if you go there, you should get better answers then. If you go down. No, well, yeah, that's a decent takes way. you closer, right? Yeah, right. So I would say just because of that, because, yeah. yeah, just because of the fact that you can have the search right there. Okay, it didn't give me the answer, but let's Google it. Now, the problem, again, as any AI is, if I have no clue, I would assume that that is V2 code because that's what I asked for. How about if you put the word version 2 in not V2? So the same you had before. On a hotkey version two script. Right. Would that make it, would that bring anything differently? Nope. The same thing. And again, it's still looking for GUI constants, whatever that is. Well, I know what they are, but uh, we don't use that. <laughs> it's not. In the standard library, which it should be, by the way. But... Okay. All right. Uh, well, huh, what are those guys at the beginning? Well, those are supposedly comments or what? Ooh, this is really bad. Yeah. Well, and, and let's just stop there and say, you're right, Google. Bard yeah. doesn't do coding. <laughs> well, it's true because they said, yeah, they said that, right? Okay. <laughs> now, I, I do. How about you have here on the left the Bard activity? Is that kind of like the history? Yeah. That okay. So, oh, yeah. this it's opens true. up in a oh, this opens up in a different like window, a yeah. and this is going to be connected to your account. Some people so might not like that. Selectively delete stuff that would mean up here. Oh, I don't. Maybe it's at the top. What? And you just deleted it. it yeah, goes. I just thought. You know, in your normal download page at the top, there's a delete all, but I, ah, I, I, here on the left, delete would would yeah that from the last day. Okay, last so we'll do custom time. range or all time. Mm-hmm. Some people might not like this because I know what this is. For example, you can turn on your location history or your web browser activity, and you can on your account get a, a all that information so if somebody hacks into your account or an ex or something has a, a access to your <laughs> account and they look at your history whatever some people don't like that right so the fact that this history is also tied to your account is weird to me i i do not understand this why they decided to connect it to your account but, well i mean as we saw like in the microsoft one right where oh, they're they're gonna yeah. help do do a Connect. better job using yeah. your data to, to when you ask a question to give it context, right? I so it yeah. does make sense to me. Yeah. Um, apparently, we have to go to our hero call. So uh, yeah. let's wrap this one up. But uh, it's so it, it's a start, you know, and and yeah, is it amazing? No, but it's a shiny new object. And I'm not, <laughs> we're going to play with it. Let's see how it goes. So I hope that helps right. everyone. Like this if you enjoyed the video. Consider joining our hero call. <laughs> Cheers. <laughs> there you go. Bye.